What up, gang? Back with the real. You know what's the deal. It seems every rapper be on smoke. Can't tell who's with it or who ain't no more just by appearance. Many persons don't know. Playboy Cardi hang with them hitters and got some weight to his name. He's affiliated with Homicide Gang and is locked in a beef with Ola Runt and Henchman Gang that's resulted in lives being lost on both sides. If you never knew about their beef, and this is the vid you need to I don't watch. Think Cardi ain't We're gonna beef chop like it that. up and break it down and get into the hey, beef origin beef and like blood that? up on the street. Like Playboy that. Cardi came up in Riverdale, Atlanta, Georgia, and took over the music industry by storm. To this day, one of his breakout tracks, Magnolia, sits at 150 million views on YouTube. His recent album, Whole Lot of Red, WLR, was one of hip hop's most anticipated by his fan base. He has a brand and style that just gets fans in a rave. <laughs> While persons outside his large following might see his music as money and hoes, the album could very well be an ode to his blood affiliates, especially with diss tracks inside that alleged he put bread on his op's head and got him stabbed. Playboy Cardi is affiliated with Homicide Gang that raps 4L. Kill that gang, With popular members, Homicide Lil Bino, Lil Demon, also known as Bless the Demon, Homicide Michi, R5 Homicide, also known as Prince Op, RIP, Lil had One BTE, like Problem Yo, Child 5, also known as King Op, and Cardi Street Brother, Sosa, RIP. Cardi also has a criminal history. His most recent in particular shows how savage he can get. On April 2nd, 2020, deputies stopped Cardi's Lamborghini in Clayton County for an expired tag. However, upon inspecting inside the car, deputies discovered 12 bags of dope, three guns, and other illegal substances. Playboy Damn. Cardi had a homie with him in the vehicle. Cardi was charged with possession of illegal substances and properly passing an emergency vehicle and not displaying an updated decal on his license plate. His homie apparently held it down and took the multiple charges. According w your homie, chat. W homie. Facts and fiction. W mans. Some deputy, that's when Cardi got on demon time, telling him he'd F his daughter and that he had a hot wife before, also stating that he didn't give a damn about his exotic sports car because he just buy another one anyway. God damn. What's even more crazy, Cardi was bonded out shortly after and went on his way. Cardi and his homicide affiliates aren't the only ones who don't give a damn about 12. Zone 6 rapper Ola Runt has been making a name for himself both in music and with the law. Yeah, we just, man, this just a block though. They made some right here, man. This shit legendary block. This shit roll forever. Ola and his henchmen gang are the rivals of Cardi and Homicide Gang. Still out here though. F that. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no comparing me to nobody. Nigga, man. Ola's block is on Mason Ave, Front Street, while Homicide Gang lurks on Back Street. Henchman Gang has oh, popular shit. members Benji Bluebills, 24 Left Eye, and Henchman Gang founder 40 Henchman, and Ola runs Pops, Front Street CEO. Ola has been on the come up, even catching the attention of Zone 6 legend Gucci Mane. In fact, Ola was nearly signed to Gucci's new 1017 label roster, but things fell apart. In a No Jumper interview, Ola said this was due to the contract not being enough, and he wanted to be free and not basically have to follow someone else's vision. You know, I, I, just, I just want the paperwork to make sense too before we, before we can even really talk. Yo, if he would have signed to Gucci, bro, yo, chat, if he would have signed to Gucci, that's what I said. Someone said Cardi got enemies. That's exactly what I said. I had no idea, bro. Really like talk deep, deep into like, you know what I'm saying? About certain shit. But it's widely believed that it was due to his reckless behavior and getting locked up. The last straw may have been his arrest after taking the cops on a high speed chase and literally going online while it happened. Now, what happens when two street dudes. He went live on a high speed chase? Yo, chat, I ain't gonna lie, bro. These, yo, I don't know, yo, chat, do they be doing this shit for attention or do they be doing this shit for fun? Like, what be going on, chat? Like, no, seriously, what's going on? Chat, a high-speed chase on live? Chat, a high-speed chase on live. Go back. ...and getting locked up. The last straw. <laughs> oh, my God. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That is crazy. That is crazy. Sorry, I, I was ordering water because there's no water in my house and I'm, I'm thirsty. You know what I'm saying? I'm thirsty. That is nuts. 
And he's driving on the yellow line. That is, I know that car's shaky as fuck. Bro, may have been his arrest after taking the cops on a high speed chase and literally going online while it happened. Now, what happens when two street dudes who got no care whatsoever for you know what's so crazy? Fine, while he's taking the cops on a high speed chase. What happens when two on a high speed he not even getting nowhere. Look how close them cops are. Like, <laughs> like, yo, bro, what was they whip? Like, yo, them cops is right on their ass. Like, <laughs> like, yo, child, like, you know what I'm saying? If you go run away, at least uh, ordering water. Yeah, bro, ordering water. Like, who the fuck orders water? Like, what, what do you want me to do, chat? Like, you want me to get up and go buy water? Like, what the fuck? Like, no, nigga, I'm gonna order water from Target or something, nigga. Like, speed chase and literally going online while it happened. Now, what happens when two street dudes who got no care whatsoever for the law bump heads? Well, persons get deleted, but how did their past even cross? And that beef ignite first you gotta know who cardi has ties with the og is apparently known to run things in atl big bank dte who also is the ceo of duct tape entertainment dte label big bank has connects and wait in the city known for shutting down clubs to bring the city out and hang with artists like atlanta icon young thug big bank himself also raps and has big features with his homie future Cardi's beef with Ola and the henchmen started with Big Bank. According to Big Bank, Ola started dissing because Ola asked him for a feature on his track and he declined. That's the reason of beef? Nigga asked for a feature and said no? That's why they're beefing? This, yo... Is this a prank? However, sources say that it started when Big Bank took it negatively when Ola's pops let him sign with Cinematic Music Group instead of Duct Tape Entertainment. Ola Runt would drop his track, Mob Father, dissing Big Bank in the bars, heard you got Big Bank, turn him to a lick. How to F you a dope boy if you ain't sold shit. Moved to the three, got ran out the six. Damn these dudes, they've been oh, faking shit. too long. In another part of the song, he called Big Bank a snitch. Snatch up your love and make the Godfather gonna call the ops. Big Bank DTE was referred to as the Godfather of Zone 6. Zone 6, the real Godfather, for real. These bars are tied to one of Ola's previous arrests, where footage shows him calling Big Bank a rat while cops lead him into the patrol vehicle in cuffs. By this time, Cardi, being close to Big Bank, DTE, was seeing the disrespect of Ola Runt to his big homie. Big Bank would step up the disrespect and retaliation, going on live and saying Ola and his pops were broke, showing old photos of him and his pops back in the day where his pops used to borrow his clothes to go to Ola's graduation. Graduation or something, his dad wanna wear my clothes. Ola's next move. So this all started from a feature, bro. Move would trigger Cardi and things would go downhill from there. Ola went on live and not only dissed Big Bank, but dissed Homicide Gang, saying they filmed a vid on their block on Back Street and were untouchable, then clown Homicide Gang for needing a big homie to answer to. Ola do what the f he wanted to do. Darn. It's Atlanta. No big dog, no big homie. None of that. No yes, man. Answer to no In June 2020, the back and forth moved from online to in the streets, and Sosa lost his life in the streets. His IG stories that night showed him having a good time. I told my op soon as I whack him, I'm going to wear his shirt. Time shooting dice. The irony is still unknown who pulled the trigger to this day. But Cousin crying because he bleeding. Up the fire, tell that hoe, give me a reason. Benjamin gang have been trolling his passing heavy. As you can see, I'm geek. The Sosa is on me. Happy <laughs> birthday. It wouldn't take long for karma to fall on Henchman gang affiliate. The Sosa smoking a little too hard today or am I tripping? 24 left by for disrespecting Sosa. He will receive a couple rounds cry, and seen in the hospital bed where he luckily survived. Lil 1 DTE was on live with Problem Child 5 admitting to hitting up 24 left by using the term twin to reference 24 left by and Ola. 
This is mad federal. Chad, do y'all see this shit? Oh my god, yo. <laughs> get a look at this. <laughs> yo, Chad, get a look at this. Yo, the fans are watching this. These things, it's a field day for these fans. Uh, Ola done went to the right. Left eye with the little. I still hate him now. Ola and 24 left eye always called each other twin, so we know he's talking about them. We got my boy 24 left eye. He's, he's Knicks. Yo, let me, tell you, let me tell you, bro, the hate gonna make me so big. You gonna be the biggest artist in the world. You heard me? Twin. I'm finna go. Y'all didn't even make me have Walmart money. Real shit. You hear me, twin? This news report was right around the time 24 Left Eye got hit and is allegedly connected to that particular incident where Homicide Gang caught him and Ola Lacken. Playboy Cardi then dropped his highly anticipated WLR album where he came at the henchman and Ola's neck on the track Stop Breathing, rapping about smoking on the henchman and getting Ola shanked. It was at this moment their ongoing beef became public to the world. Cardi was playing the song on live and even had a packed arena singing along as he performed the diss at Lollapalooza 2021. This was probably due to how close Cardi <laughs> and Sosa was. He took Yo, his passing really hard. That's this song, I guess. Yeah, blue diamond and shit. Blue bear. <laughs> <laughs> he was putting on for homicide, shouting out his hitters. You can hear him say, Free problem child. King Op was in and out of prison, living that homicide life until he pushed rap and got signed by Future for one mil. And I see my brother Future post something. Go up. Everything on problem. We putting a million on problem. <laughs> Cardi Shooter was applying pressure in the streets and pressure on the beats, dropping the heavy henchman disc, PP Son. But henchman gang wasn't just laying down and take it. They came back with the remix disc of Cardi Stop Breathing, naming it Stop Bleeding, and 24 Left oh Eye dropped his whole lot of red Stop Cardi bleeding. Homicide disc. Oh Through all the God. sliding and dissing, <laughs> R5 Homicide was holding it down for Homicide Gang and Sosa, taunting the ops and dropping the track Live as a tribute to Sosa. He even dropped an entire project titled Everything for Sosa and vouched it forever do everything for Sosa moving forward. You can tell the hurt from the loss just by him speaking on it. Sosa, my brother, he um, he really a member. You know what I mean? I lost him. Unfortunately, after well, beating his hard. hit charge. What you feel like the bis the biggest obstacle that you overcome most recently? I've been fighting cases, man. For real, this shit over with. That's the best obstacle I could have ever went over. It's alleged that the that weight of the loss smart. in his life <laughs> was too heavy to carry, and R5 took his life. I let a rapper. R5 homicide is fast away after. Oh shit. RP chat. All in the studio doing what he loved. Whoa! Hold on, not on stream. What the fuck? Henchman gang wasted no time. That's crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. It's not in the video? Oh, okay. Disrespecting his demise. Kuche is killing they shit. Let's kill this While his homicide family took the time to celebrate their fallen homie. You can tell they really had love for R5. Hey since then, the both camps have been nursing the losses, both in the street and in the industry. Lives are being ended, persons are landing in jail, and careers are losing their spark as they continue to go back and forth. Cardi's affiliation to Homicide and DTE is giving him even more status over henchman gang with his already madly popular career. If Ola can stay out of trouble, he may be able to build his buzz and catch up because he does have the talent if he just stays focused on music. But with him already missing the opportunity with Guwap, he's got an uphill battle ahead, especially with having to fight his current case for freedom. Most I can hope is no more deaths occur and both camps can eat. Sad that they were all cool in the beginning. Who's some of the rappers um maybe outside of your crew in Atlanta that 
you would want the world to pay attention to that you think might be next to represent the city? Uh, most definitely Ola Runt. He got my neighborhood. It's like a curse in the hood. Friends can't stay friends Damn. and win together. RIP to all those lost. Rest easy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Damn. Catch you all. RIP, chat. Who is Ola? Ola runs. Sounds familiar. Halo Santana, Young Bands. Young bands, don't Cardi fuck with young bands? Holy shit, that might have been out the window. 